I don't really know how to put it into words now, how big the opportunities are. I think it's massive. I'm Anthony Bennett. I am an electrician by trade, I would say, uh, that's been retrained uh, into the renewable industry. I've been doing renewables for probably the last 11 years. My name's James Lee. I'm plumbing and heating engineer. I got brought up with all the old heating ways as it, as it was, progressing on from gas to LPG and then on to heat pumps. The business itself has been running six years together now, just mainly because of the electromechanical nature. It made sense to have a, a heating engineer and an electrician working together because for this, this is quite complex equipment. I suppose the biggest challenge really is educating customers. The space we need, if we're talking about retrofit, there are certain challenges towards is what you're fitting the heat pump into acceptable. And the other challenge is getting the customers to understand and appreciate how to use the systems. Because if once the customer appreciates and understands the system, that's where we have to spend a bit of time with them. You know, an happy customer makes an happy installer. I like the purity of it in the fact that it, it, it's physics and it's maths and it doesn't lie, it's going to work or it's not going to work. There's 101 different ways to achieve the same outcome, but it's finding that, that right solution for the right property. It's not just a two minute job in essence. You've actually got to plan for obviously not just yourself, but for the electrical components to go in, your insulation to go in and everything like that. You can't just turn up with a load of bits and bolt them to the wall and hope it works. We've been installing Valent primarily as our primary heat pump, kind of go-to heat pump for five, six years now, six years. We must have done seven or eight days training with them now, or, or that's all free of charge training. What we've found um, over this last year or so is we're getting a high sort of strike rate where installers are wanting to go the full journey on the renewables training with us and come and do the practical training at one of our centres of excellence. They're able to provide you with detailed schematics and drawings of how the system should work. So we'll look at plans of the property, what sort of heating distribution system they want and what controls they want and with that we can produce a proposal uh, a quotation, a bill of materials which the installer can use to prepare their quotation to the homeowner. There are a lot of decent manufacturers out there but you really need somebody that can give you technical support. Their technical team on the renewable side, the guys they've got working for them are absolutely brilliant. Being able to make sure that if, uh, if you call them they actually answer the phone because there's nothing worse than being sat on site at four o'clock in the afternoon with an heat pump that doesn't work real good relationship I feel that uh, I've got with the guys so I feel that comfortable for them to ring me at any time you know the phone's always on they know that for whatever support they need. We're a premium brand so we want to give that face-to-face -face contact. I would say after sales support for not only the installer but also the customer is probably the biggest selling point backed up by a very good a very good unit and then from a sales point of view being on their preferred installer scheme certainly certainly helps generate his business. We've been getting four or, five of, four or five of them a month, haven't we? That's four or five potential jobs that you haven't got to go and find yourself. The only advice, if you are doing it, you've got to be serious about doing it. Build up your knowledge base, as much research as you can. There's lots of information on the internet out there. Ask for support from somebody else. Anybody that fits renewable energy products should be MCS'd. It's, it's an, if, you, if you're serious about doing this, it, it's something that you need to be a part of. It's as simple as that. There's probably five, six times as much work in a heat pump install as there is a boiler. So you only need a six as many customers to keep yourself busy. We've effectively doubled our heat pump side of the business in a year. That just shows you where the growth is straight away. That's, that's where the industry is going. But I think it's important and we've done it and it's important for decent installers to try and cement themselves in the industry now. Because in 10 years, we're not going to be putting gas boilers in, in this country. This is obviously a, a bungalow. We've retrofitted the entire property with underfloor eating. So we've, we've dug down, insulated it, 100 mil centres in the pipe and then flow screened it back up. So we've basically got a big thermal mass of, of energy down, downstairs. We're approaching the end of the project now, so we've got to get this, the Valiant Aerofoam Plus, actually installed. The unit itself, this is the front of the unit. So cool air blows out of the front of this and it pulls more air in from above and round through the fan. There's actually two pipes at the back of the unit which will connect to the internal unit that you've already seen, the flow and return. There's also going to be a electric mains power and an e-bus data communications cable to be installed into the back of the unit which will make it communicate with the internal units. This is the hydro block unit. What this does is it takes 
heat from the external units piped up and it diverts it either to the hot water cylinder or the buffer in this case. It also has a few cool things like a backup immersion heater uh, and an expansion vessel in and all the wiring will go back to that unit. This is the 250 litre direct hot water cylinder, very efficient, doesn't lose um, much energy and um, has a, a good store capacity and this is a 100 litre buffer. This is designed to give us separation between the heating system that you've seen downstairs and the heat pump outside which again just improves efficiency of the system.